Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Masters Live. For this segment, we'll be doing a special presentation where Grace will be interviewing members of both our DevTools and academic team. Grace, take it away. Hello, Ferd. Hi, everyone. So today we are at the Development Tools Store with Allison Brown. So Allison, what do you do for Microchip? Hello, I do marketing for development tools. Hence our development tool setup that we have right behind us. Awesome, and this is where you can buy Curiosity Nano boards, development boards, or application specific boards. So it looks like our users could actually win something. So how does all this work? Yeah, so this is our development tool store. We have all of the boards that are used in the classes available for sale on site for a 20% discount. Although we are offering something new this year, and even if you're not on site, if you wanted to place an order and take advantage of the master's discount, you can do so online for the 20% discount and free shipping on any development tools with the code MASTERS2025. So even if you're not on site, go ahead and check that out. And if you are on site, feel free to come see us at the store. We have all the boards used in classes and then some. You can get a discount if you make a purchase. You then get to spin our lovely wheel here, which we have lots of fun prizes and swag available to win. So we have a fun little setup over here. Come and see us and get some tools. Awesome. And I saw some really cool dinosaur stickers. You have to check them out. So what is your favorite thing about Masters so far? My favorite thing about Masters is how much you get to talk to different people, whether it's microchip people or design partners, development tool partners, attendees, anyone, people that you work with that you wouldn't normally talk to. It's just been a lot of networking and talking to different people, and it's been cool with people you don't always get to work with and meet. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time, Allison. Thanks for having me. Thank you. All right, so let's go over here and see what's going on. So here we have Ross Satchel, who is the academics lead. So, Ross, what do you do at Microchip? Uh, so I work with the academic program. I'm currently working on developing some student workshop hardware and also the software to go along with it and all the collateral so, we, so that our uh, Microchip ambassadors can run a workshop program anywhere in the country. Wow, that sounds really cool. Looks like you're giving away books. What, is the, what are those about? So our professor, Professor Harney, has written a textbook on the PIC32CM, uh, and we're giving away these textbooks for free. And you can also get the PIC32CM and also the Explorer board that uh, uses it and work through the textbook and also the 10 labs that come along with it. There's also a free PDF version available on microchip.com forward slash academic. Wow, cool. Let's see, what else we have here? Can you explain what this demo is doing? Yes, so I, uh, I've been working on these development boards. So these are for the workshop and to go over the, some of the technical stuff, so we have a, a Curiosity Nano form factor as a SAM E54 that has CAN bus support, eight megabit SPI flash, so plenty of room to store all of your programs and libraries, capacitive touchpad, a NeoPixel for indicating program status, a user button and a reset button, a I2C bus, so you can daisy chain uh, I2C breakout boards, and a Bluetooth uh, module, and that just friction fits into the ruler here, so there's no soldering, no mess, no fuss. Uh, it has a IMU, a nine degree IMU, uh, sorry, nine degrees of freedom IMU, and also a SPI display, four more NeoPixels, audio amplifier, and also SD card. And then on the back for the students, we have the full pinout, we have the resistor color code, we have number conversions between decimal binary and hex, and useful equations for them. Awesome. And Let's so this see. one here is, is bouncing around the microchip logo, the, the venerated meatball and we're actually reading the CPU temperature and we're writing that both to the serial terminal and also writing out to Bluetooth uh, to the phone and also when I press the buttons as well it recorded that with both flashes and also on their terminal. Awesome. What about this one? What does this one do? So this is the Curiosity Nano Explorer board. This one's been around for a couple of years now. Uh, you can take any of our PIC or AVR Curiosity Nanos, plug it straight into the board. You can reroute any of the signals to anywhere on the board. Uh, and it's fantastic for use with education and actually part of uh, the projects that are being used in the textbook there. And if you use any of the AVR DX series of microcontrollers, they also support Arduino as well as MCC, Melody, um, 
then bare metal C and also assembler. If you use PIC, then you have access to MCC Melody, you have uh, bare metal C and assembler as well. Awesome. And this is available for high school and college students? Yes. Awesome. That sounds great. So, what has been your favorite thing about Masters so far? For me, it's probably seeing a lot of the people that I've been on Teams calls with and emails with throughout the year and actually sitting down and having a meal with them. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time, Ross. All right, so stick around. So tonight we have Casino Night as well as First Robotics. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, Grace. And as a reminder, don't forget to use the discount code MASTERS2025, and it's valid until tomorrow, August 7th, and you get 20% off and free shipping. So you better act fast. And like Grace mentioned, our next segment will be at 5 p.m. where we'll be interviewing Annalisa Regalado about FIRST Robotics. So we'll get to see all of the bonds that the students have been dedicating so much time to. And don't forget about Casino Night, which should be a lot of fun. This is Masters Live. Hey Clifford, yeah, you I bet you've seen Anna board that I'll beat you at poker. I'll take those odds.